I cannot foresee Henokoriata being a finance minister um, beyond maybe the presentation of the budget. And on a personal note, if I were him, I would not even go to present the budget. Uh, there's some sense in him trying to conclude a staff level agreement of the IMF. Mm. There's some sense in that. And as uh, Mona said, for the board or the fund to consider uh, Ghana's uh, bailout, it will take, it will go into December. Yeah, when, 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 when Zambia was seeking it, it took them two years. Um, I, I don't know where the confidence comes from Ghana that we seem to be saying, oh, we are almost there, we are almost there. And uh, now um, economist uh, Kwame Pioneer says we have difficulties. Of course, the, we, the public, have been made to know about part of the difficulty because there have been inaccurate figures that the IMF has not been excited about. So, so, so that is the point. Uh, of course, the last negotiation, I think Mona can collect, correct me. It took us, I think, six months or so to conclude the 2015 negotiation. And of course, this time is a bit different because the world itself recognizes the urgency of the situation for many developing countries. So maybe the, the, the this time is different in the sense that people will want to speed up things to be able to, 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 to save the situation for most countries and for Ghana. The situation is urgent. So concluding a staff level agreement in the next three weeks will be, will be, will be good. But I do not really foresee him going um, on as a finance minister uh, beyond uh, November. I do not foresee that. I think that it's in his own interest to resign after the appropriation bill is motion is moved 